up, I'm going to be using a pore minimizing primer to minimize the look of my pores. Pores tend to show up a lot more when you're using um, a lot of white products on your face, and today that is what we're using. So next, I'm just going to be putting on my regular foundation as usual and buffing that into my skin. Next, to make our face look more white, I'm going to be using Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil by NYX and I'm going to be highlighting my face with this. So I'm taking this along my cheekbones, the center of my nose, my cupid's bow, chin, and the center of the forehead and I'm going to be blending that in with my foundation brush. Also, to make our contour pop, I'm going to be putting some more jumbo pencil underneath our contour line and just blending that in with the same foundation brush. And of course, we have to powder the skin to make sure we're not oily, so I'm just going to be taking a translucent powder and doing it. Taking an eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be priming both of my lids for the eyeshadows. So I'm taking a matte taupe shade from the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to be blending this into my crease and outer corner to kind of get the shape of where we want our smoky eye to be. So then I'm going to be going into a darker matte brown shade and I'm going to be intensifying the smoky eye with the same brush and I'm just going to be taking my time and using little by little shadows and just blending and creating a cat eye and kind of focusing the shadow on the uh, crease on the outer corner just kind of creating that nice V shape and for the lower lash line I'm mixing a black and the same dark brown matte eyeshadow with a smaller uh, pencil brush I'm just going to be taking that along the lower lash line and blending as you can see the theme of this um, eye makeup look is definitely matte so I'm taking a matte brown shadow and just packing that onto the lips and then I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying a few coats of mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Feel free to apply falsies if you would like. brows you're going to want to go two to three shades darker than you normally would on your brows so I'm going to be taking my regular brow shade as I'm doing here and then I'm going to be taking a darker shadow as I'm doing in this clip and just filling in my brows because we want them to be super bold and thick so for the contouring I'm going to be taking that taupe shade that we used before from the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to start contouring my nose you're going to want to take that all the way up kind of into the eye socket area and blend it down. If you happen to get too much shadow on your nose, as I am doing here, you can blend it away with your foundation brush. So for the infamous cheek contouring, I'm going to start off by kind of um, drawing a line where I want my contour to be. So I'm going to be sucking in my cheeks slightly, and it's going to give me that really good um, Maleficent shape, as you can see here. You kind of want to drag the contour down, um, kind of by your mouth almost. And I'm just going to be blending that away with the smaller brush, and then going onto a bigger brush, adding more color and blending until I get a really strong contour. And then to intensify the look I'm taking more milk right underneath it and right over top of it and I'm just going to be blending that away Contouring to slim down the look of your uh, chin, I'm going to be contouring my jawline. And to slim down the look of my forehead, I'm going to be slightly putting that onto my temples and blending really well. 
To make our face even pop more, I'm going to be using a highlighter and this is going to um, catch the light in certain places. So I'm going to be putting that on the tops of the cheekbones, the uh, cupid's bow, the chin, the tip of the nose, and the center and the bridge of my nose, and underneath the brow bone. And finally, for the infamous red lips of Maleficent, I'm going to be taking a lip liner and lining my lips and filling them in to make sure that the lipstick is going to stay bold all night long. Then I'm going to be using a lipstick and to top that off, I'm taking a darker red uh, lip gloss and applying that to my lips. And that concludes the look. So that concludes my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the products that I use will be in the description box below and I will also put a link to the video that I used to make these horns. I hope you guys have an awesome and safe Halloween and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!